Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. On my channel, I do um, Bible journaling process videos, sometimes in a Bible, sometimes in not. <laughs> and I also do uh, a little bit of faith planning. So if that's something you're interested in, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to click the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. So today we are going to do a uh, faith planning video and I'm going to be using the scripture and journaling prompts from the prayerful planner which is which are these and then also the ephemera that comes each month so if you uh, are interested in any of this I'll link the website to the prayerful planner down in the description box below the video and if you sign up for her the emails they will email you at the towards the end of each month they will email you the scripture and journaling prompts as well as the ephemera for the following month so I just got these um, it's the end of April and I just got these and these are all for May and in May we're going to be focusing on um, just drawing closer to Jesus and keeping our focus on him um, I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world right now and these will help to just um, kind of bring everything back to Jesus focusing on him and um, and yeah so anyways this is the ephemera that you get um, I print mine out and then I run it through my Cricut uh, um, cutter I don't know what it's called it's Cricut machine um, so it'll cut out all of my little pieces of ephemera and then you also get the days of the month down here so if you're working um, in an undated planner whether it is the prayerful planner or in my case I work through the happy planner because I like the disc bound system um, but if you're working through an undated planner then you have all the dates of the month um, down here for you so um, another thing I use in my planning is this um, layout this is a if you're familiar with the happy planner system this is the right side of a dashboard layout and each of these fields um, where I have right here where I have the month and the days of the week and right here um, my list of you know things I'm grateful for each day this um, I purchased from an Etsy shop and I use this in my planner as well and as you can see up here in the corner there's cut lines so if you cut on um, if you cut down from on this line and cut across on this line you'll end up with a page that's the perfect size to fit into a happy planner a classic happy planner so um, I'll show you what I do in my planner in my faith planner it's back here I usually do um, my scripture writing down here and then in the top part up here I do my um, just like a short little prayer in response to whatever that scripture was and then I use this page um, for my journaling my response to my journaling so I'll put like one thing I'm grateful for each day of the week and then I'll do my journaling prompts right here on this side um, and then I just insert this page into the middle of the week and then I also um, as you can see I use washi to um, kind of separate the top third of the page where I do my prayer and the bottom thir two thirds where I do my scripture writing and note taking. So um, that's how I'm um, using my planner as well as the prayerful planner um, printables. So I'm going to head go, I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and cut down these pages to classic happy planner size and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of my pages cut down, and you can see they fit um, into the classic happy planner, and I've gone ahead and I've hole punched the sides. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to date, because these are obviously undated pages, I'm going to use the little dates that came with the ephemera to date my dashboard pages. Now, because this is a, um, it's an editable printable that you can download from Etsy so you can put whatever you want in these fields and right here like next to the day of the week there is a field there so if you wanted to fill all of this out on your computer you could you know type in the date the date there um, next to the day 
or you can use this however you want. But anyways, I'm I'm going to go ahead and fill in my um, dates now. So since we're at the end of April, May is this day, so I'm going to start here and put, um, get my tweezers and put this one here because Sunday is May 1st. So then I'll go ahead and um, do the rest of the days and let's see. And just take them off the sticker sheet with my tweezers. And I print these um, on full sheet white label paper. So um, I need one more. So that you, they come off just, they're, they're, they end up being like stickers. But this is actually a full sheet white label. So I guess people might use these for um, like mailing labels on a box if they need like a full sheet. Um, but that's what I'm using here. And I'll link the the paper that I'm using or the the label paper that I'm using down below as well if, if you're interested in using this. So you could either print this on... Um, white label paper you could print it on they also have clear full sheet clear label paper um, or you can just print it on regular white um, copy paper and use like a glue stick or something like that and glue it into your planner or however you want to use these but I go ahead and print them on the label paper so they come out like stickers so um, now I'll just go ahead and make sure that Monday starts on this with the second so I can make sure that I get all my days right and I'm just going to go ahead and put these right before the day of the week just like that five six seven and eight just like that so I'll go ahead and do uh, the rest of these dashboard pages with the numbers and then I'll be right back Okay, so now I have all of my um, dashboard pages printed. So with the day of the week here, here, for the whole month. And then um, for this one that's May to June, obviously because May goes into the week where June begins. So at the end of May, when I get the printables for June then I'll go ahead and fill in these dates for June and then continue the process for the rest of the month so <clears throat> now that I have all these down I'm going to take my um, scripture and journaling prompts and then I'm going to cut all of these out because I use these um, I put my scripture here so that I know when I come to you know, when I come to the day, I know, I know that I'm writing, for this one it would be Joshua 1.8, I'll be writing here. And then uh, for the um, journaling, I'll put it here. My verse here, and then I'll do my, um, my response to that. So, um, as you can see, I need to do May here, and then um, continue on into here. So what I do is I cut these out, and I keep the... Um, see where it says day one and then Matthew 16 24 and then the verse or the journaling prompt underneath is um, how can I take up my cross I will keep those two together because this journaling prompt usually correlates with this verse so I like to keep them together so that whatever verse I'm writing for that particular day my journaling prompt um, correlates with that and then it just kind of all is cohesive for that day so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these out and then I'll show you what it looks like and then I will be right back okay one thing I forgot to mention is that I also print this page on full sheet white label paper so that um, these become like stickers when I peel them off and then I can just stick them into my planner I forgot to mention that um, and then I also when I print these out I print them at 75 percent that way um, the longer verse addresses will fit um, into this section of the planner it's kind of it's kind of a narrow area and if I were to print this at at 100 percent um, the longer books like um, first Corinthians um, with the verse it, it would it would overflow the 
the margins of this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut all of these out and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have, um, I don't know if you can see here on the side, but I have all of my little pieces um, cut out so that the scripture and the journaling prompt are together on one, um, one piece of label paper. So now what I do is I'm going to cut right underneath the underline to separate now the verse from the um, journaling prompt. But like I said, I like to keep them together so that I make sure that I put the verse and the prompt on the same day of the month so that um, whatever day that I'm doing, my scripture and my journaling prompt um, go together. So um, now that they're stuck together, I'm going to work on day one, which is obviously May 1. Um, and I'm going to cut, like I said, underneath the underlying part to um, now separate the verse from the prompt. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut right underneath so that now I have my prompt, which can go here, and then I have my verse. So now that my verse is separate, I'm going. To, this is just a little soap dish that I, an old old soap dish that I use to um, just cut. Um, little pieces of trash that I'm not always reaching under my desk to throw away even the little bits. So um, I just cut off the little excess at the end of the verse and I'm now going to cut off day one because I don't need it anymore. I know this is going to go on um, May 1st. So I'm just going to cut off that part. And so now I just have the verse. So now I'll go ahead and put this on Oops, sorry. I'll go ahead and put this now on May 1st in my planner. So now that I peeled off the backing, I'm going to get my tweezers and just put it down here. And it just fits right there. Okay, and then I'll get my, go back to here and get my journaling prompt for May 1st. And again, there's like ex extra white. You can leave it there. I don't like it. Um, so I just cut it off. And then um, I'm going to take the backing off of this one. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my prompt and I'm going to put it right under the day of the week. So then when I come to May 1st, I'll do my, um, my scripture writing, my little prayer in response to that, and then my response to the journaling prompt. So then I'll go ahead and do that. Let's do one more starting in May, the first full week of May. So we're going to get day two from my little lineup over here. And again, I'm going to cut right underneath the underline and separate the two, um, the verse from the journaling prompt for the day. And then I'm going to cut off this excess white because I don't need it. And then I'm also going to cut off the day two part. like that. So now I'm left with 1st Peter. And then I'm going to put this down. Right here in my planner. And then I'm going to take my prompt, cut off the excess, and then I'll put this down. Peel off the backing like that. And then get my tweezers and just put it down right here on May 2nd, Monday, May 2nd. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of the rest off camera. You don't have to watch me do all of that. Um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have finished um, putting in my scriptures and my journaling prompts. So... Um, this is what my first week, full week of May looks like with all of my scriptures across the top. And then my dashboard page has all of the journaling prompts. So each day when I start my um, quiet time, which I do in the evenings, I don't do that in the mornings like a lot of people do. Um, but anyways, I'll come in and I will um, write out my scripture. I'll do a little prayer in response to the scripture. I'll... Um, write out my response to the 
prompt for the day and then I'll also put one thing that I'm grateful for that happened that day so um, I just wanted to show you as well I have these um, pieces left over from the journaling prompts and the scriptures and um, like I said these are all printed on full label paper so these pieces are still labels so what I do when I'm done with all of my prep for the month is I cut them um, into strips like this <laughs> and I just um, keep them so this would be for the for this side and the longer piece would be for the right side and I just keep them all in this little it's like a photo container box I got a big um, case of these at Michael's so there's there was like 12 of these I think in a case in like a carrying case but I use these for like different different purposes I don't use them for I don't carry everything around in the, in the big case I use these for like storage like little storage things so anyways I just wanted to show you that I cut these into strips and then um, I usually go ahead we'll just do um, we'll just do the first week of May since we're here and I usually get my um, pieces of paper or my labels well this one goes here and this one goes here and then um, I because the I'm sorry I'm losing my words but anyways the faith planner from the happy planner comes with these colors and like I said I like to do um, a little bit of washi like this to separate my scriptures from my prayer and sometimes if my washi is a lighter color or it's a little transparent then the blue or the purple or whatever color it is for that month will show through the washi and then also I like to use this whole section as one section um, rather than two separate sections so I'll put um, a piece of white I should, I'm sorry I should have kept this out so I'll put a piece of white label on that area as well so that I can just write and it just look like one continuous long box because I have the white label paper over the color so um we'll just go ahead and um, put these down real quick so I don't yeah, I don't waste. <laughs> I try not to waste. Um, and I know it's blue up here, but that doesn't bother me because I don't really put anything. I don't write up there and I don't put washi up there. But um, I just want to put this down here. Oops, that's really crooked. Hold, please. Let's just straighten it out. There. And I think I cut these a little too short because you can still see the blue right there at the end. But I'll show you in a minute how I fix that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my other one down here so that I can just write over the top of this one and then it looks like all one big section. And then since they're kind of short, I have this jelly roll pen. Um, I got a pack of these at Hobby Lobby and they were different sizes, but this is the 10, the 10 size. So then I just kind of write over that little blue area with the gel and then it just all looks white so I'll go ahead and do that for this one for this side as well I think I cut the longer pieces I think these are the right size so then I'll just lay this down Nope, it's a little short right there too. So I guess we'll be covering up that part with a jelly roll pen. So just like that. And then I'll get my pen and cover just like that. And then, since we're here, let's just get some washi. And I have to obviously find a better way <laughs> to store my washi because then I have, end up having to dig. And um, let's just find one that's pretty for, for May. 
Okay, I don't want to waste too much time. Let's just pick one. Let's just do this one. We'll do this pretty. It's like a purple color. So then I just get my washi. This one actually is really pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really light florals. So I'll just get my washi. And now that the white is here, I can just lay my washi down and you won't even see the blue. It's like it doesn't even exist. And then I'll get my, um, my blade and I'll just trim off the extra. Just like that. And then I'll do the same with this side. And this is just my preference. You don't have to cover up the color if, if I mean, obviously, it's your planner, do what you want. <laughs> um, but this is just my preference so that I don't have to see the blue and then I have a nice little division between my, um, my scripture writing and my prayer. Just that this is all, so that it doesn't all just flow into one big mess because my writing tends to get a little little sloppy sometimes um so so then i'm all ready to go for the first week of may the first full week of may and then we'll just put this back here and since this is just my scripture writing um faith planning part of my planner um, it doesn't bother me that this page is in the middle because there's really no plans right because it's just scripture writing so um, yeah this doesn't bother me so now I'm all set up for the weeks and now what I do is I go and I decorate my um, the happy planner calls this the currently page I think yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my currently page with these um, printables and these are just gorgeous they um they're just very calming like the colors are really vibrant but the i don't know they're just to me they're very calming um so anyways i'm going to go ahead and decorate my currently page oops i forgot to put this back in oh i put this in the wrong place <laughs> okay so this goes here yeah you guys are probably like karen it doesn't match so Okay, so this is now in the right pay place, and then I'll go ahead and decorate my currently page. And what I use for this um, is in the prayerful planner. Um, there was a section for um, your verse of the month, um, your prayer for the month, and the things that you're praying for. So when I transferred out of the prayerful planner I still wanted to keep those things because I really liked them so what I do here is I use the um, ephemera to decorate this page but I also made these boxes on my Cricut for each of those areas verse of the month prayer for the month and um, the things you're praying for so not necessarily this this you know specific boxes like this size box has to be for one prompt, but I do um, use these to journal those areas. And so um, I think one month I printed, yeah, these are black ones. I think one month I printed green ones probably for like St. Patrick's Day. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use these, probably these two so I can get rid of this page that's falling apart and then something from here and then I also on my Cricut printed the prompts so I have prayer for the month um, praying for and then verse of the month so I'll use these as well um, so let's go ahead and get started um, I don't use this part down here where it has um, like holidays for the month because I don't do any planning on this in this section so I usually try to find a sticker or something that will cover this so I'm going to probably use um, this one 
This one's really pretty. They're like Polaroids. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like um, Polaroid pictures with the empty spot down here and the little compass. This one's really pretty. So um, I'll go ahead and use this one and I'll just um, cover that area up down here at the bottom. And then um, that's where I usually like to start because I always know that I want to cover that up. So if I have a sticker that fits over that, that's what I use. If not, I'll use a box. So once I get that part covered up, then I go ahead and um, put down, figure out where I want to put down my boxes. Um, so we'll just, um, I'll maybe put one here. And then... Maybe one here. Oh no, maybe let's use a long one there. Maybe we'll put a long one here. I'll make sure that I'm in frame for you. Um, just put that right there. And then maybe put this one going in this orientation. Um, that way I have room there. So maybe we'll just put this one here. like that um, and I know it looks kind of crowded but I really wanted to use these light bulbs um, and those should probably go at the top of the page rather than at the bottom so that they can look like they're hanging from something <laughs> so um, let me just see if I can peel these up without ripping them gentle there we go and then I'm gonna hang these right here that looks really pretty I love these stickers this month they're so pretty and then I like this one too, but it's kind of big. I don't know if I'd have a place, enough room for it. Um, okay, so let's take this one and put it here, since this is pretty much the only place it'll fit. Speak truth. And even though I have a Happy Planner punch, I try not to put stickers over the holes because I tried, I think last month I put a sticker over the hole and then it just jammed up the whole punch. The Happy Planner punch is very, very finicky. So I try not to cover up the holes. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and do this one up here. And let's try to fit it so that it doesn't cover up a hole. I know it's gonna cover up the month, but that's okay. I know it's May. So put that there, and then we have these little, probably the only other little things I'll be able to use are the eyes, the eyes, <laughs> the glasses, because it says eyes to see. So probably the eye, the glasses, and the keys, because everything else is too big for this page. So, um, Let's see, maybe we'll put, maybe we'll put this down here, like that, and then maybe we'll just put these little keys right here to fill up this empty space that I didn't account for. So, yeah, that looks cute, and then we'll get my props here and let's see we'll put maybe praying for right maybe I'll just put it right here well see that's gonna look weird because it's now a word under a word 
it's okay. We'll just put it here anyways. So we'll do praying for. And then right here I write the things or the people that I'm praying for specifically for the month. And then, um, let's see. Let's get prayer for the month. And we'll put that here. And then we'll get a verse of the month. And we'll put that one right here. And then I'll go ahead and fill all of this in off camera. So, let's see. Let me put it back in my planner, just like this. And then since I ran out of room, but I really want to use these, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my day or my week because this is really pretty and I don't want to waste it. And I don't usually put, oh, these are stuck together. Hold please. I don't usually put any like decorative stickers on my weekly pages, um, but this one's too pretty to not use. So I'm just going to put it here. And hopefully I won't have too many notes to take on 1 Peter 21. And then, let's see, I'll skip a week maybe and then just put this one here, this little, this little scooter. Adventure awaits. <laughs> That's cute. So I'll put this one down here. Okay. So, that is, oops, sorry about that. So now I'm all set up for May. I have my um, my currently page that I'll go ahead and fill out later. And then I have, I don't, oh, I forgot to mention, I don't use my monthly in my faith planner. So I usually just get um, some tape runner. And this one, I don't know, it's been really like not working well. So anyways, off camera, I usually just get some, um, some tape runner and I just get these from Amazon and then I glue these pages together so I'll have to re-glue the rest of it but basically now I do my currently page and then this is stuck together so that I go straight into my week so then I have my prompts or not my prompts I have my scriptures and my prompts all set up for May and I'm all ready to go so <sighs> I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will have all of the products that I used uh, linked in the description box below. And again, if you're interested in these um, prayer prompts and scripture writing and these little ephemera, um, I'll also link the website for the Prayerful Planner in the description box below. And then if you um, click the link, it'll take you straight to the website. And then I think it's all the way down at the bottom. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the website, it'll, there'll be a place for you to input your email address. And once you do that, then you'll just get these um, every month at the end of the month for the following month. So, um, Again, thank you so much for joining me today, and if you have any questions or comments for me, please leave them in um, down below, and I really try my best to respond to everybody. So, um, yeah, if you have a question or if you have a comment or if I forgot to link something, um, just leave that down below for me. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys, and um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So that's it for today, and again, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye-bye!